Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so I just got home from running some errands and I had my Teddy Bee's RTS box on my doorstep and I was shocked. Um, I <laughs> honestly haven't been following the tracking because I'm leaving tomorrow for a trip and I just figured it would get here when I wasn't home. Um, but I was super excited that it's here. So here she is. Oh, there goes everything. Um, so we got a full box here. To be honest, I'm not quite exactly sure what I ordered. Um, I know I went in initially for the first couple things and I knew I definitely wanted. And then from there on, like my adrenaline was just going. I just went back. I think I went ordered a total of four times, honestly which is horrible because I shouldn't have, but I'm so happy that I was able to get a good amount of things because you all know her RTSs are like anxiety provoking. And I've only, this is my second RTS I think of hers that I've participated in and both times like I just rapid fire and I don't even remember what I order until it shows up, but that's part of the fun. Um, I did get quite a bit of stuff, so I'm not really gonna go into showing the whole souffle and everything because I know everyone pretty much did that on the pre-order video. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with what I got. So right off the bat up top, I have a adorable little sample cup of Campfire Stories, which I did get this in my pre-order and I really liked it. Um, I know Natalie raves about this one. She's been waiting for this one to come back and she was saying how good it was. So in the pre-order, I ordered a tub of it. Really liked it. This is such a good like campfire scent. You get the like the ooey gooey s'more scent. And then you get a bit of like cinnamon, I guess, from like the graham cracker and a touch of smoke in the background. I cannot wait to see how this warms up. I think I'm going to absolutely love it too. So I honestly can melt this all year round. So I know I, I'm pretty sure in my initial order, I went back and got more of this. I hope so. So we'll find out. But that's Campfire Stories. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> First thing I see here are two souffles of Escobar. So I ordered this in the pre-order. I want to say in a tub. No, no, it was a souffle. And I smelled it and I was like, I need more of this because I love her beach treats. It's to me, it's very similar. If you've had Bath and Body Works' body care and, and beach nights, it's very similar to that. In that it's very heavy on the like creamy marshmallow, like heavy marshmallow cream scent with a touch of sea salt in the background. So I love her beach treats. And then her Palo Santo just kind of smokens it up a little bit, gives it like a little, little smoky vibe to it. So I really like that. This is another one I think I can melt all year round and I know I'll go through this quickly. So next time she offers this, I will definitely grab a loaf because I know it's pretty popular. So that is Escobar. Next here, I have a souffle in iced woods and sweet birch. Notes of icy vanilla woods, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, marshmallow fireside blended with a bit of birch wood. So this is a scent that is totally in my wheelhouse. It's I love Tiffany's tree scents, her outdoorsy scents. I always love them and they perform so well. They're always super strong. So when I was watching people's haul videos and I saw people hauling this, I went through my box again, my pre-order box. And I was like, I didn't order this. Like this is something that I normally would definitely pick up and I didn't and I was shocked. I don't know if I just missed it in the list or I was cutting my order down or what the case was, um, but I didn't get it. So I was shocked. But anyway, let's see. I'm excited to see what this smells like. Ooh, this is beautiful. Okay, so right off the bat, it gives me like a clean, woodsy man vibe. And I absolutely love that. So I definitely get the birch wood. It says a bit of birch wood, but to me that's dominant in this. Icy vanilla woods, yes, because I pick up another woodsy note but that isn't birch. And then you get a touch of smokiness, which must be from the marshmallow fireside. This is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure the boardwalk marshmallow cloud is kind of just blending everything together beautifully. Maybe adding a little bit more creaminess, but this is really good. Really, really good. That's iced woods and sweet birch. Next I have here, let's see, is cozy cookie cake. 
So I got a tub of this in the pre-order. You guys, I have no self-control. And when I smelt it, my pre-order came in, I was like, this is phenomenal. And I've heard a few people say how good this is when you warm it up. So I was like, I need more of it. Um, so this is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookies. So that's cozy cookie cake. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I got a loaf in this too, you guys, because I was just like rapid fire, like just buying things. Like I had no budget. So, yep, here it is. I got a loaf in it too. So, <laughs> uh, I have plenty. I literally have this loaf, a souffle, and a tub from the pre-order. So, I'm pretty set for a long time. But this is just... Uh, this is so good. This is like the ultimate cakey vanilla bakery. This is so good. You definitely get a good chunk of the beach nights. And then it's just made even more rich with her I guess it's the warm iced white cake and then you get like a slight sugar it's like a sugar cookie dough which it must be from the signature sugar cookies oh my god this is so good so I do not regret buying this much of cozy cookie cake because I know I'll love it I could share it with friends family whatever but I'm so happy I got that all right next all right <laughs> I got two souffles of Witches Be Crazy, which this was another one. I've had this before. I got it in V-Stash and I loved it. And then when I got my pre-order, I was like, I didn't order Witches Be Crazy. Like, I seriously must have just tried to cut down my order because I know there are things that I should have gotten, like in retrospect, like that are totally me that I didn't buy. So I guess that's why RTSs are good. Um, but pretty sure everyone knows what Witches Be Crazy is. It's delicious. It's a blend of birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. So we got two of these. And this, if I remember correctly, yes, it's a very rich, decadent, like pumpkin pecan waffles blend, which I know can be too much for some people, but I really enjoy it. To me, it's like a very comforting gourmand scent. Um, I can melt it all year round. I don't really associate it with fall because to me, it's like, a ooey gooey waffle I don't get any pumpkin at all um you definitely get birthday cake and cinnamon spice vanilla maybe the sugar cookie dough will come out on warm or it may just be adding sweetness to it but I don't necessarily detect it on its own in this but this is so good it's always been super strong for me when I warm it all right next is beach blanket yes I'm so glad I got this okay so this is one beach blanket that I got in the pre-order in a souffle and I wish I, I should have gotten a loaf in this because it's so gorgeous so this is the scent of cotton sheets ocean air and fresh coconut I love laundry scents but they're not something I, I melt every day you know there's something I'll, I'll melt maybe once a week or so when I'm cleaning or doing laundry just to kind of get me in that clean you know fresh mindset but this you guys is so beautiful and this automatically reminds me of fresh fresh coconut and cotton it is from bath and body works and i got that for the first time last year and i absolutely loved it from bath and body works um i got it i guess it was around this time last year and then once the semi-annual sale came and went I bought like six shower gels, three creams, I bought candles, I bought everything because I was just like obsessed at the time with the scent and this is exactly that. Like this is just such a good laundry but you have such a beautiful blend of fresh coconut in there that it's like such a pretty uplifting summer scent. I think this one's gorgeous and I hope she brings it back soon. So that's Beach Blanket. Next we have, oh my god guys, I got two. Pfft. So I have two beach blanket. Oh my God, I have no control at all. All right, next, I guess to keep up with the laundry theme here, we'll just do springtime in Montana. So this is not something I got in the pre-order, but once I saw Ashley Overly's video, her whole video and how she reacted to smelling this for the first time, I was like, that is hilarious. I have to buy it. Like she was just like awestruck by the scent. So I knew that I would have to try it. 
So this is crisp cotton, lavender, white peach, and vanilla balsam. So this just sounds like it's going to be such a pretty um, laundry scent for spring and summer. So let's see. Ooh. All right, so I get definitely crisp cotton, but I kind of get like a detergent note in here. Let's see compared to Beach Blanket. So Beach Blanket has cotton sheets and Springtime in Montana has crisp cotton. So to me, Springtime in Montana has more of a detergent scent where Beach Blanket is more of just like a crisp, clean, uplifting scent. So if we're talking laundry, I definitely think Springtime in Montana is more of a laundry-esque scent. So right off the bat. But it may be the combination of like the crisp cotton with the lavender because that's like usually like a good laundry combination but it's beautiful you get a touch of white peach to sweeten it up and you get you do get like a pine note in the background so that must be the vanilla balsam this is beautiful too you could tell this is so strong on cold I, I know it's going to perform really well so that is springtime in montana super happy i got that this one sold out pretty quickly if i'm not mistaken so i really must have been in the zone just fucking adding excuse me adding things to my cart <laughs> Okay, next, okay, this is kind of out of my comfort zone, but I'm so happy I'm going to try it. So this is Mrs. Teddy Bear. So this is a blend of teddy bear biscuits, cherry pie filling, and whipped cream. So to be honest, I'm not a cherry fan in wax or home fragrance, um, because to me, a lot of cherries come off like cough syrup smelling. Um, so... I wasn't really sure and I skipped this one completely in the pre-order because I was kind of afraid of it. But once I saw Desi's post in the, ooh, this is so good. Desi's post in the Facebook group about this and how not to be afraid. And I've seen other people haul it and say how much they love it and describe the cherry as being like a genuine cherry pie filling. I knew I had to try it. So this is Mrs. Teddy Bear. Ooh, the guys, this is so good. I'm so happy. I'm so glad I found a cherry that I like. Okay, so this is literally like the ooey gooey jam kind of mixed with cherry pie filling. That is so good. And you get a blend of like, kind of like a cinnamon pastry in the background, which must be the teddy bear biscuits. Ooh, you guys, this is good. I'm excited about this. So that's teddy bear biscuits. Don't mind my hair. I just got out of the shower before I ran errands and I haven't put anything in it. So it's a little all over the place. Um, next. <laughs> Another duo of Surfside Sweet Shop. So this is one of my absolute favorites from Teddy Bees. It's just a powerhouse performer. It's like a perfect ooey gooey beach nights blend. Um, I honestly, I love... Surfside Sweet Shop and Cozy Cookie Cake both, but I think I like this more, so I'm surprised that I picked up a loaf in Cozy Cookie Cake as opposed to this. But I'm pretty sure it's because I went back to get a loaf of this before I bought the second souffle and it was gone in loaves and they had a loaf of Cozy Cookie Cake, so that's why I bought that instead. <clears throat> I just can't explain the way my brain functions during these RTSs. It's like I lose every ounce of logic and it's ridiculous. But um, this is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats. So just as it would sound, this is just an amazing creamy beach nights. Strong on the cake batter and beach nights. It's just so good. I know everyone raves about this, so we're all familiar with what it sound, smells like and everything. So this is just so good. I'm pretty sure it's one of her top sellers because she offers it pretty frequently. So if you haven't tried this, highly recommend. You won't be disappointed. All right, next is Sweetheart Cookies. So this is another one that I got in a souffle in the pre-order. And when I smelled it, I knew without even warming it that I wanted more. So this is pink sugar, frosted sugar cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, and sweet milk. Oh, this is so good. You guys, this pre-order was had so many good gourmand bakery scents that I just, I wanted to try every single one. And I, I know there are a few that I didn't get, but 
they're just all so so good i don't know how she does it a lot of them too have similar notes but they still smell different which is awesome um but anyway so this predominantly is shortbread a, sweetened up a pinch with the pink sugar and frosted sugar cookies I don't get much birthday cake in this, but this is dominantly her shortbread, which is so decadent and sweet and rich. I really like that. So this is Sweetheart Cookies. I haven't melted this one either to know how it throws, but just based on cold sniff, this is a strong, rich bakery on cold, so I'm sure it's going to perform well. All right, two more souffles, and then we have some other things here. So the next one here is Royal Pink. So this one I strictly picked up because one, I love cupcakes at Tiffany's and two, I heard so many people haul this and say how good this is and so I needed to try it. Um, so this is pink sugar blended with buttery toffee, buttercream, fluffy white cake and sugar cookies, which the buttery toffee, buttercream cake and the sugar cookies are all cupcakes at Tiffany's. So essentially cupcakes at Tiffany's with pink sugar. Oh God. So good. Strong, rich cupcakes at Tiffany's. Toffee heavy. It's, to me, just a blend of toffee and pink sugar, which I'm not mad about because it smells delicious. It's so good. Royal pink. And the last souffle is one that I had gotten in a tub in the pre-order, but I wanted more because I knew I'd go through it quickly, and that is hot pie. Another one of <laughs> Natalie's that everyone knows about now. So this is Palo Santo, sugar donuts, hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. You guys, these are scents that I would never think that I would like together. Like, I don't really have any chai in my collection, um, just because I'm not really the biggest fan of it and I kind of have to be in the mood to melt chai. To me, it's very reminiscent of fall and cooler weather, but honestly, it is so good with the Palo Santo and sugar donuts. And then you get like a little bit of sweetness, like a feminine kick from the pink chiffon. Oh my God, this is so good. So this is like a spicy donut sort of scent with a dash of like pink chiffon. So good. I've melted this before. I've also gotten this in a prior haul. I believe it was probably a D stash and melted it and this performed really well. So I'm so happy to have more of that. And next is the whole reason why I rushed into the RTS to get this because I posted in her Facebook group about this blend and how I thought it was so unique and beautiful. And then she poured it for the RTS in clams and this is blushed. So I'm pretty hit or miss on peach scents because a lot of the time, as many others have shared, it could come off like very, like, it could just come off very wrong, like very urine scented. Um, so I was hesitant when I had gotten this in a prior pre-order, but it's so good, you guys. So this is vanilla birch, peach flesh, strawberries, warm woods, and marshmallows. Oops, I just broke it. Oh my God. Her peach is just so good. And you get like a perfect blend with the strawberries. I don't on cold get warm woods or vanilla birch, but I know when I warmed this previously, it definitely comes out. Oh, it's so good. It's like a perfect blend of peach and strawberry with a little sweetness from the marshmallow. And then, oh, pretty you guys let me try and get that look at that and then when you warm it up the, the woods and birch definitely come out so I was so happy that she offered this so I got two <clears throat> and then the last thing I have here is a loaf in campfire stories <laughs> because I loved it so much and I knew that I wanted more of this without even having melted what I bought in the pre-order Especially when I heard that she hadn't brought this back for several years. I was like, I have to buy more of this while she's offering it because it was so good. Just as I described in my sample. And her label for this, guys, is so cute. Look at the adorable little morning stars. I just love the attention to detail and stuff that she puts in her. And the little loaf has a little moon. 
Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, so I'm so happy I got more of that. But anyway, that is everything that I got in the RTS. I'm so excited to see what everybody else picked up. I know it's always a madhouse and everybody just scrambles to get what they want and won't even share what they plan on getting because it's literally, it's just chaos. Um, so I'm so excited to see what you all picked up. I know Tiffany had posted in her Facebook group that the next pre-order is going to be May 19th, which is only a couple weeks away. So I'm going through my collection and kind of just putting scents aside that I know I want to request and hopefully they'll get poured. But either way, she always has such amazing lists that I'm so excited to see what's going to be on there and try new things. Um, but anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me. I hope you consider subscribing if you're new here. Um, I would love to have you stick around and spend some more time here. But anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend and a great rest of your day. Bye.